So you want to know how much I make as a reseller. So do I. Stick around. Let's find out together. So I'm headed out to one of my favorite thrift stores today. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'm going to break everything down into an hourly salary. So I'm back south after six long slash short slash really fast yet also long six months up in New York State where I was working on my other career and I am truly excited as I have not pillaged the local thrift stores in many months. I am hoping to find a plethora of fun treasures not only for YouTube's sake but also I am running out of iced coffee. And here we are, one of my favorite thrift stores of all time. If you've been to this channel before, you've seen me pillage these shelves many a time. I do want to mention this place was packed. This is the most packed I've ever seen it. That's not actually what I was going to mention. What I was going to say was this place has its own Shopify store and it also has a presence and store on eBay, which might lead you to believe that there's slim pickings on these shelves. But just like all thrift stores, mom and pop shops, even Goodwill, they miss stuff all the time. So don't be discouraged if you know that about a store. This place is always really wonderful stuff on the shelves. I always go straight back to the games. I love selling games. You know that again, if you've been here, you're probably bored of me talking about board games. I sell specifically board games, mostly on Amazon. I do have a video, I'll link it down in the comments of, of how I choose to sell board games. And, and I do highly recommend, I've sold tens of thousands of dollars worth of board games, especially used board games. I think that's, uh, they're often overlooked by, uh, by many resellers, but totally worth it. Check it out uh, through the Amazon FBA program. I found this Pictobia, Pictobia, uh, I can't speak, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And they're asking $9, which is just too high. I can't profit. Wow, that was, uh, did you see that? That was, uh, that was pretty spooky. That's a spooky price too, seven bucks. Even so, I can still make a good five or six dollars. The box is a little beat up, but I think I can fix that up pretty nicely with tape. The rest of the box is beautiful. And despite the spookiness of everything that's just experienced between the two of us, I'll keep that a secret. That's going home with me. Quelph game. This is a staple in my reselling uh, diet. It's This box is beat up. I left this behind, but I sell so many Quelphs uh, every year. This Gravity Mace, another game, really popular. It sells really fast on Amazon. Uh, they're asking four bucks, I think is what it said. Uh, I can make it uh, about double my money, three to four dollars on that. Bezer Wizard. This is a game I sell year round and Getting into Q4 or closer to Christmas, the price on this does tend to go up on this game specifically. I noticed 20 to 25 bucks in the in the Christmas time season. Logo board game, there are many variations of this game. This particular one sells for 50 bucks, uh, even used on, on Amazon, which is just insane. So keep an eye out for this specific version. I, uh, I go through and make sure all the pieces, you don't really see me do this on the channel very often. If you go into the instruction manual or on the back of the box, it actually shows you all the pieces that should be inside. I like to go through and count. It does depend, there's a lot of variables. Sometimes I take the time to do this in the store, sometimes I do not. I'm gonna make a video about board games because of how good board games have been to me. And I do think a lot of people don't consider or look them. Uh, this game was missing these pieces, but you can go on eBay and actually buy replacement pieces if it makes sense. If you happen to like this video, do that like and subscribe thing. Check out, I have an entire library full of useless information. Or you know what? If you hate it, I don't blame you. And away from the board games and into the DVD section, they actually put all their sealed DVDs in a separate section. So I didn't find a great quantity, but all it takes is the good quality and that's exactly what I found. I found this great $24 DVD. I don't know what the heck it is, doesn't really matter because it's putting about 12 to $13 in my pocket. Then I find this blank. I buy blank media whenever I can find it for cheap. They're asking $2 for the VHS, that's too much, and a dollar for the blank cassettes. That's just too much. I try to stick around 50 cents for the cassettes and maybe 75 cents for the VHS, a dollar maybe. I lot them up when I get like 50 cassettes or 10 VHS. You can make good money if you're only paying about 50 cents each. I found this uh, only a buck and it sells for over 20 bucks on Amazon. So this is a fun little find. It's old media, but people still need this stuff. So keep an eye out for old media. Then this, this is easy to miss, easy to mistake. This is a high bias metal tape. These particular ones sell for about 20 bucks. Some go up to 50 or 100. I've talked about that in the past as well. This is a regular cassette. See, it says normal bias. And on this other tape, it says high bias metal. So look out for those metal tapes or, or the normal bias ones are the common ones, but they're easily confused. So keep an eye out 
everybody overlooks this stuff. People, oftentimes people who are selling these things don't know what they're selling. Barney goes to school, VHS. And anytime you see old Barney, this is vintage Barney. This actually was really shocking. It sells for $20 even used on Amazon. I only paid a quarter for that sucker. Here I'm looking for obscure titles and I found this Hallmark Hall of Fame movie. Anytime you see Hallmark on DVD, check it out. It's always worth checking out because people love their Hallmark and this one sells for almost 20 bucks on Amazon. So this is a really cool find. I think I paid two bucks for that. And then I found some sealed season DVDs. I like to always check out the TV series and there's not a lot of profit, but uh, there's, there's a few bucks and I got the first season and second season. The third season was also on the shelf, but I was restricted to sell that on Amazon for some reason. So I left that one behind, but these are fun little finds. And again, I'm only paying three bucks for those. Then I find this last dinosaur, Never heard of this before, but it looks like an old black and white movie that they just got on DVD. Not making a ton, but I only paid three bucks, so I'm more than doubling my money. I always like to check like the, the home goods, the Home Depot type section, and I found this is a killer score for the day. This is the best thing I found in a while at a thrift store. I found these Delta. I keep an eye out for Kohler and Delta, and you can sell some of this stuff on Amazon, but I like to sell this stuff on eBay. And I looked up that 57530 model, and this sells for almost 200 bucks uh, in the $200 range. And there were two of them. They were selling this, the, the thrift store was selling them for 30 bucks. So this is an excellent find. Uh, you don't find these all the time. So I was really excited uh, about that score. It's one of the better scores I've had in a long time at a thrift store. Now I found, I don't know what kind of creepster likes to wear crochet gloves when they're working out or biking, but uh, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, I'm just gonna think it's a little creepy, but you do you. And I think I can get like 25 bucks for these, just really bizarre crochet workout gloves. Um, but you do you, man. I still love you, no matter what. I found this Webkins, uh, some of this old Webkins stuff. This was eight bucks, which I thought was really high, but this is like a vintage looking box. And it sure was, it was vintage, but it was brand new. It had the tags, it had an unused code. I guess Webkins uses this like secret code. So I wanted to make sure, I mean, there's no way I can really know if the Webkins thing was used or not, but it looked like it was tucked back in there. So I took a chance, I paid eight bucks. I do think I can turn this into 25 to 30 bucks on eBay. And turtles are one of my favorite little animals. He's super cute. Then I find this bag and I love finding little bags of random toys. Uh, that, what caught my eye was this Jurassic Park card and I found some dinosaurs in there and they were actually metal, really sturdy metal. And I saw on the bottom, I don't know if you can really see it through the bag, but 1993 is what it says on the bottom. That guy, uh, that's what I look like if you don't give me my oatmeal in the morning. But these other, these other dinosaurs, uh, it says for Jurassic Park, uh, the name of the dinosaurs on the bottom by Amblin Entertainment. And I think I can get like 30 bucks for these four metal, uh, four metal dinosaurs in this random bag that I think I paid two or three bucks. I just wanted to highlight, there was another reseller in the store and they were specifically looking at all the media and I found all this stuff. Um, so don't, don't uh, let other resellers, if you see them in the store, they miss stuff all the time. That particular reseller missed all of this and that's over a hundred dollars in sales so don't worry about if other resellers you don't know what their business models are you don't know what they're looking at so always check sections uh, even when you think it might be uh, a waste of your time alas the moment that we have all been waiting for and probably why you clicked on this video in the first place but i made you suffer through all that information and you fell completely into my little trap i invested a little 121 i'm just going to call it 122 dollars today sales this is a gross sales number 712 dollars this includes the shipping cost of the item that I also collect. And keep in mind, this is $712. This is total what I'm gonna get when all this stuff finally sells. It's not gonna sell in the next 48 hours or the next week. Some of this stuff might sit around for a few weeks or two months even, I really don't know. But at the end of, of all things, $712 is what I expect to get for this on a gross sales level. Selling platform fees and the shipping fees, they're gonna be about $223. Supplies, I'm guessing this is gonna be about $5 out of pocket for supplies. I buy in bulk, so supplies are very cheap. That's gonna leave us today with a net profit of around $362. Now I do set aside 15% of that net number for taxes for next season. 
I'm not a tax pro. That's just what I do. That's what works out for me. So that 15% of that $362 is about 54. So we're going to say $308 uh, overall after taking out the taxes. If we hop over to travel today, it took about a half hour there, a half hour back round trip, an hour. I was in the store for about 45 minutes and it's going to take another 45 minutes to list all this stuff, to pack it up, to ship it out. Ultimately, this is going to be about a two and a half hour day excursion for this, this $362 day. This is going to leave us at about 140 six dollars an hour or if you want to take out the taxes of 54 uh, it's going to leave us with 123 dollar uh, an hour uh, day which you know it's it's a beautiful day and this is a beautiful job what a time to be alive we get to sell other people's throwaways and junk and make money on it i mean that's pretty radical and thanks so much for watching guys and i hope to see you guys on the